Okay, so let's start with your software. So here we have no button. So click on new so that we can see some new options here. So we have sketcher, part, assembly, different names here. So I want to create a parts so that's why I'm going to set up part design. If I want to assemble, assemble design. If you want to sheet metal, sheet metal design. If you want to combination, you can use a bulk or RNC. So before going that far, I'm going to click on this part design and make sure that specify a name. So if he doesn't want to specify a name, you can specify defaultly. Okay, you can leave like that. And make sure that here option is there called as use default template. So remember, now this takes inches. So I don't want to use inches. That's why I'm click it so that we can choose manually. I'm going to click on OK so that we can see. You need to see. So in this one, inches, pounds, and seconds is there. Like that, different kinds of templates are there. So in default, I always choose solid part MMKS. So millimeters, cages, and seconds. Once it is selected, click OK so that we can see some ribbon like this at the top. We can see the ribbon and some planes, etc. etc. Now I want to create a cube in this one in this software. I'm going to click this option called as shapes. Here we have extrude, which is basically look like cube here. I'm going to click on extrude here. When I selected extrude, the ribbon is going to change. So here we are in extrude ribbon. In the extrude ribbon, we have some placement option is going to come in red color. Click on the placement. Define the placement by using a sketch option. Make sure that choose any one of the plane. So let's choose one plane. Click on start so that it can be transferred into a sketch features here. So we can see here at the top, we can see sketch ribbon. Now, to see in parallel view, I'm going to click this option called as sketch view in the panel. I'm going to create a rectangle here from the center like this. In default, when I selected this option called as selection, arrow button. So when I selected selection or select, in default it's going to show constraints or dimensions. You can see this one. So we have 160.13 dimension is there. So just double click on the number so that we can change to 100 or 200, whatever number is there. And remember, so we are L1 is equal to L1, the length of this particular edge is equal to the length of the particular edge. So like this, you can change. Suppose, for example, I don't want to be same length. Make sure that choose the L1 if it is exist. Right click, or you can simply delete it. So that we can see constraint, one more constraint is going to come. Double click on the number, and you can change in different values. But I want to create a cube, that's why I'm going to click on 100 into 100. Control the sketch, and make sure that you have to provide the height of the entire body. In default, it always develops in part one direction, top of forward direction. I provide the dimension as 100 and click on the screen so that you can see the 100 dimension. Now I'm going to change certain options here. So here we have some options like this. So first one is called bend. Okay, first one is called as bend. Bend means it's going to develop in particular direction. I don't want to choose upper direction, I want to go for bottom direction. I want to change the direction. So here we have flip, click on the flip option so that we can see the direction of development. Now I want to symmetrical, that's why I'm going to click on the second option called as extrude both sides of the sketch plane. So I'm going to click on this option with plane so that we can see symmetrical. That means total length is total height of this particular cube is 100, but it is symmetrical. That means top 50, bottom 50 from the plane. You can change our plane, but doesn't change anything because it's always a symmetrical thing. If I change the number, suppose for example, if I change to 200, so automatically equally it's going to disturb 100, bottom 100, and top 100. So depend upon the value, it is going to distribute equally from the plane. Click on confirm so that it can be visible as a cube. Now, for example, I want to modify this cube in future. So on the left side, we have specification R, model tree. In this one, you can see extrude. And if I open this arrow, we can see sketch section. A. We can edit the sketch or we can edit the entire model. So I'm going to click on the extrude, right click, and choose this option called as edit. So we have dimension edit and body edit. Okay, we have two edits here. Make sure that choose edit of wall with the pen. Now I can change this value. How much I want? I can change it. Okay. Simply we can double click on the number or you can specify here. With whatever number you want to specify, you can specify. Now I want to change the dimension of this particular side. So open this one, we have section here, right click and click on edit dimension so that we can see two different dimensions here. Just double click on the particular number, we can change it and we can see the extension of the particular object. Suppose if I specify 150, it's going to extend to 150. If I specify 10, it's going to extend to 10. So depend upon whatever number you specify, so it is going to re modify itself. So I'm going to click on 100 so that it can be done. Once it is done, click on the screen to confirm and click on escape to confirm again. Now, for example, I'm going to edit this one again. So we have, we have one more option called as surface. So in default, it is access solid and also it also access surface. So if you select a solid option, the entire body becomes solid. If you select a surface option, the entire body becomes surface here. So whichever one, we can choose it. Now, confirm it to confirm. So I'm going to make sure that it should be selected as surface, confirm it. So there is a difference in color. 
So the solid body comes in grayish color and the surface body comes in light or dark blue color. I'm going to right click this one, edit, I make sure that selecting solid, cut on. Again, I'm going to click on same, extrude, edit object. So this time I'm going to select the C, means your section or thickness here. So I'm going to click on thickness. When I select a thickness, it's going to provide a number default, its own. So I want to change the thickness as to be 10. You can see the thickness has been done, which is coming inside, remember, which is coming inside. So I want outside, so here we have flip option, outside, but I want to symmetrical. Make sure that you have to select that again. The first time it will be inside, outside, and symmetrical. So depend upon three clicks, you can see. The first click makes inside, so which is default. The second click makes it outside, and third click makes it symmetrical. Again, if you click again, third click again, okay? It comes inside. Depend upon the thing, you can choose this option. So specify the thickness here. I'm going to provide two mm thickness and confirm becomes a thickness or halo body. I'm going to re-edit it. I'm going to unclick it so that you can see solid body again. Now I'm going to right-click on extrude again. Select this edit option. We have some options here. Click on options. So we have symmetrical, which is selected. Here I don't want to select symmetrical, but instead of getting symmetrical, so at the top from ear to ear from the plane, so I want to get 50. At the bottom, I want to get only 25. So for that one, the so side one, then this upper side, side two means lower side, change this one into flat. Specify the number here. The top side, I want 50. And the bottom side, I want to be 25. I can put both sides. If I specify negative value, minus 25, what happens? It's going to shift the entire body to opposite direction. So make sure that don't specify negative value. Specify upper means upper, lower means lower. So you can see two different values going to come. The total height of this particular cube will be 75. I'm going to change to 50 so that it can be symmetrical. If it doesn't want symmetrical, you can specify it to different values. Now, I'm going to click on blind. I'm not going to select the second option so that it becomes blind only in particular, particular one direction body. In default, we have this option called as tapper. Click on tapper option. So what happens is going to, it's going to increase the angle of the profit. So if I pull this box, we can see the change or we can specify the number here. For example, I want to specify phi angle. Click on the screen so that you can see phi angle tapering or drafting. So if I want negative direction, just specify the minus negative, so that can be minus. So if you remember, it always comes in positive here, but so if change the direction, we have to specify negative value, so that we can see inclination. If you want to specify more value, we can specify, but if you want to specify more and more, so the maximum limit will be certain limit, so it becomes a pyramid or some other shape. So we have a limitation option here, which can be provided based on the values here. So the apparently depend upon what the size for. Therefore, this one is 10, and you can't form it, so that we can see tapper extrude. Body. Now, I'm going to right click again, edit option. I don't want that option, that's why I'm going to unclick it so that you can see the box again. Now, I want to cut the same rectangle box, a smaller rectangle box on the top of this particular rectangle box again. So, in order to do that one, I'm going to use same tool called as extrude, place name, define. I'm going to select this particular face, click on sketch option, click on this option called as sketch view, and create a rectangle. In order to make the center, I'm going to select normal here, selecting dimension from this end to this one, and click on mouse wheel button so that we can specify the dimension here. Let's put this one is 20. I'm going to select this one and this like mouse wheel button and specify 20. See, we have a dimension here which is already there. When I specify my new dimension, let's put this one 20. So we can see the dimension is still there. But when I specify one more dimension here, the dimension is going to replace the dimension to this dimension. This manual dimension that is automatic dimension it is specified dimension and that is automatic so like this i can create a box here or a rectangle shape confirm it now i want to develop this one if you want to develop you can specify the value whatever value you want to specify you can specify but in order to cut this body from the previous body i'm going to flip the direction it automatically cuts it is automatically going to cuts now in this one we have two options here one should be flip to add one should be, should be cut it and we have, when you select a flip downward direction inside the body, you're going to activate removal material. If you don't want to remove material, unclick it. If you want to remove the material, click it. Next, we have inside cut and outside cut. So inside means whatever you created and particular section only create cuts. And outside cut means outside total outside of the particular section will be cut out. And here also we have drafting angle. So if you want to click on tapper and you can specify the drafting minus 10, I'm going to provide lines. To confirm it, to confirm it. But I don't want to draw in. You can see that box is coming, but I want to cut a certain thickness here. Click on this. Thickness sketch and increase the thickness here. How much you want? I put some pin value so that you can see. Again, outside it is coming, inside mid plane. You can see this one, reverse it is coming. Outside it is inside and symmetrical. 
So mostly symmetrical will be there. Uh, inside will be there. So depend upon choice, you can choose and confirm it so that it can be converted into a removing material or extrude cut. So in order to identify which one is added, which one is removed, I'm going to right click on the second extruder. I'm going to rename as this one extrude cut. What happens means whenever I'm going to modify, I can remember these things. Extrude cut. So whenever I want to modify, which I can see which one is added and which one is cut. Like this, I can rename it whenever I want. Okay. Like this, I can create a two and extrude cut. So I'm going to modify it with shaded edges so that you can see edges here. Okay. Let's use second option here. So before two options are there, I'm going to select both. I'm going to delete these to both. Okay. Now remember this one. Do not delete these planes. It is difficult to make sure to come back here. So if you delete it, make sure that controls it here so that it can come back. So make sure that don't delete this right, top, and front plane. So if you want to create dummy planes, you can use planes here. Okay, so that we can create a dummy plane or data plane. Okay, but don't delete the default planes. If you delete it by mistake, we make sure that controls it so that we can see the same planes here. Now, come to the second option called as revolve. So it required a profile and axis. So to create a body, I'm going to click on this devolve option. We have a placement here, devolve placement. Here we have sketch and axis is there. So first we have to create a sketch. I'm going to define selecting one of the plane, click on sketch option, make sure that click on the sketch view so that we can see a normal view. Whatever profile you want to create, we can create. Okay, but make sure that you have to create a centric line with the axis or at somewhere where you want. So default, in the first example, I'm going to create the axis. Confirm it so that we can see rotated body lines. Okay, I'm going to cancel this one. So instead of selecting an axis, I'm going to specify a new way. So I'm going to click on this. Say we want to click on the plane you I'm going to say creating same rectangle instead of creating the centric plane or center line at the axis here I'm going to create over here only confirm the difference between before and here means before the body is revolved or rotated of this particular stage around the axis of yeah the axis of the plane but this time it's going to revolve at the edge of the particular sketch so the axis page specified changes the body view I'm going to cancel it again confirm click on revolve option I'm going to click on the plane and the sketch you. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. Now, in default, I'm going to create one more rectangle at the top, like this, which is I want to be created, and the center line will be at the center. If I confirm it, it's not going to come because it is having an intersection line like this, it is intersecting to each other. So, with the profile the one and profile two is going to intersect each other. So, I'm going to click on no option so that I can remove this edge here. So, in order to remove this edge, we need to have edit this particular edge here, a particular line. So, I want to edit this particular line. To edit this line, I'm going to click on edit options. We have this option called as delete segment. Select it, select the line, and select the line again so that we can delete that particular section. Once it is done, confirm so that it can be revolved or rotated at the axis. Confirm. For example, for example, I'm going to create a revolve option again. This time, the rectangle is there, and one more circle is there. So I want to remove the outlines here, not inside one. So go to this edit segment again. I'm going to select this to edit I'm going to drag a line here by using mouse left button. So simply select mouse left button and drag the cursor so that we can remove the particular section. So we can easily cut the section whichever we want. Or we can simply select it. Once it is done, confirm. So here I forgot to select the axis of revolution. So in order to go back, I'm going to click on this one. Click on this edit option so that you can see sketch again. Now click on sketch plane. So center line, I'm going to select this axis system to revolve it. Confirm so that we can see a rotated body like this. <coughs> now, let's create only 90% of our 90 angle rotated cylinder or partial cylinder. Okay, so now I'm going to create a cylinder of diameter. Outer diameter will be 100, the inner diameter will be 50, and should be started from the zero and ended with 90. So click on plane, so click on the revolve option, define plane sketch sketch view first in the wall i'm going to create a center line later i'm going to create a rectangle before i said so the inner one should be a 50 diameter the outer one should be 100 diameter that's why i'm going to click on normal here so we can see this options here so inner one is 50 the outer one should be 100 okay here yeah, i'm going to specify the dimension let's consider the high total length of this cylinder will be 100 and the partial will be 50 partial is off from the center like this. 
confirm so that we can see a cylinder that is coming 360 degrees but i want only partial that is 90 so here i'm going to provide the angle as 90. once it is done we can see only a partial cylinder but the direction is i want opposite direction so we can flip the direction opposite direction if you want the shell option or a halo click on this image so that we can see halo or shell one and make sure that if you select the surface it will come in surface if you are selected solid it is solid and moreover if you want to specify one side is 90 another side is some 45 angle so go to the options here we have variant variable one and make sure that select the variable two in the second option also and specify the separate second angle here and suppose for example in the first angle i specify 180 and the second angle i'm going to specify 180 180 total becomes 360 but if i specify 181 it's not going to take the so total angle should be 360 or you can reduce the value so i'm going to put this value as flat like 45 so here i'm going to specify 45 so 45 this side and 45 this side total angle is 90 so if you want one side is 90 another side is 45 you can specify you can specify into value as we want so we want it's going to shift the opposite directions here and you can make sure that you can decrease the sizes here so where you want to start and where you want to end like this you can modify it once it is done so i'm going to provide this one is 90 and this one is 45 and you're going to flip the direction so that it comes the opposite direction and confirm it you can see a partial cylinder is going to display similar way so i'm going to create a cylinder and i'm going to cut option either so in order to create a cylinder see what i'm going to i want to create a shaft like cylinder click on revolve placement define select a plane sketch sketch view so here i'm going to start from here i'm going to start from the axis and created a shaft like structure in default, it's going to generate the dimensions like this, but it's difficult to change the dimensions one at a time. I want to change all dimensions at a time. That's why I'm going to click on this option called as modify. Click on modify so that you can see modify the dimensions here. Click on modify, select all the dimensions, modify. Now I'm going to provide this value at the beginning of this value, that is 50. Second value is this one. Let me make it as 25. Third value, I'm going to specify 30. You can see the box is going to highlight here. So we are going to edit that particular box here, 50. 50 again, 200 again, and this one will be around 150. This one will be 100. So, like this, I can modify the dimensions here. Once it is done, click OK to confirm so that it can be modified. Once it is done, create centric line at the axis line. This time, I'm going to create horizontally, confirm it so that it can become a shaft like structure. Confirm, become a shaft. Okay, let's choose the third option here, screen. So in order to create a sweep, I need a path or a reference profile. So to create the reference profile, I'm going to use this option called as sketch. Choose any one of the plane. Click on sketch option, sketch view, and create a profile as you like. Now specify the dimensions. I'm going to select this all the dimensions here, 45. So the first dimension should be 200 tab. The second dimension should be, so let's put this one as zero. The third dimension is coming, that is angle. I put this one 35. Fourth one, I'm going to specify height and fifth one also 200 like this. Confirm it so that we can see the profile like this. Once it is done, click OK so that we can see profile or path. Now click on sweep option. Choose a profile what you created before and click on this option called as selection. Selection and make sure that click on this option called as sketch view and create a profile what you like. At the center, make sure that we're going to provide this one as 50 or I put this first on the confirm it creates a path like structure or pipe like structure once it is done okay once it is done if you want to click a thickness you can activate thickness and switch the thickness let's put this one in one thickness so that it can create a pipe like structure if it doesn't want thickness just unclick and confirm it okay now i'm going to use the same profile but the profile of the dollar paint is going to different different position here sweep the sketch what we created before section view and uh, sketch view so instead of at the center i'm going to create somewhere else like this at the center instead of center i'm going to create somewhere else which are certain distance let's put this one is 50 and this one is 50 okay the second diameter or certain diameter so i'm confirm so instead of creating here it's going to create here okay it's going to follow the path but instead of creation of here it's going to create somewhere else confirm. like this it always creates based on the reference or based on the, the sketch or path here I'm going to delete the sketch. Let's create a circular profile. Click on sketch, select the plane, 
to create a curve like this by using the sketch arc like this curve I created which is located at a certain distance let's put this one as 200 in height so it is not going to modify because the radius is fixed okay anyway we created one curve and confirm it yeah I'm going to sweep it and creating a profile so it doesn't matter what profile you created it comes see the ends here we have 0 and 0 if I provide a certain number let's put this one is 150 we're going to extend tangential to this curve whatever the curve is coming is going to extend it based on the tangential because you have tangential extension in there suppose if I specify this one also let's put this 200 so that you can see tangential extension is going to come so whatever profile is created extension of that one will be created as tangential if I select this option called as section along line it creates different somewhat little bit different not too much just both are same anyway so we can provide this tangential development is there confirm to see the answer similar to that option we have one more it's a combination of sweep and extrude that is called set blend so in order to create the set blend so make sure that click on this option so in defaultly it doesn't have any type of sketches here so i'm going to choose a reference or sketch or whatever you want you can choose but doesn't have anything here so let's create one rectangle whatever profile you want to create we can create let's create one rectangle sorry the center is there let's put the dimensions of this one so let's put this one is 100 and the 10,100 confirm it so we can see one rectangle is there slip in you can see direction is going to come but it is not going to develop here so because it is going to have need some sketches here click on sketch option so we have sketch one we are already existing so click on the sketch option so it is starting is here we, we created here sketch So it is not going to take in so because it's somewhere point is that let's cancel this one instead of creating a close one i'm going to open this i'm going to create this one let's create an open profile which is easier than this rectangle profile okay let's use sweep blend tool so it is a combination of sweep and followed by extrude so just like a sweep i need a reference profile click on sketch option select any one of the three click on sketch view and create a line or arc Let's create a line to understand easy with a length of 300. Confirm it so that we can see a line. Once it is generated, click on step pen, choose a line. Now we can see 0 and 0 just like sweep. In the section view, we have a sketch option. Click on sketch. We can see a sketch plane, sketch view. Let's create a small rectangle here, the size of 50 by 50. So I'm going to provide this dimension as 50. Confirm. So one is done. I need to create one more sketch here. One more sketch means at the end of the opposite. You can see the point is going to come here, which is coming in red color. Inside the new sketch, you can see sketch two, sketch. And I create one more sketch by using this sketch view. Let's create a little bit bigger. Let's put this one is 100 into 100. 100 into 100. So based on the two profiles, it's going to create a developer body. Like this. based on two profile and a path, it's going to create a developer body. Confirm to see the answer. Let's for example, at the beginning, there is a rectangle and the middle also one more rectangle is there, which is smaller than before. And at the middle, one more middle, so I'm going to create one more point here, so which is bigger and regular size. It is 50 by 50, 25 by 25, and it will be 200 by 200, and it will be 100 by 100, like this I want to change. So I'm going back to this one. So here we have some datum points here, there, points, click on the point, choose the line. So in default, it creates a point at location with a value. So let's consider the total distance is one. Let's consider distance from here to here is one. So it is the ratio of the vertical value. So I want to create at 40. So that's why I'm going to provide. We can provide like this. The 40 distance means 40, 5, or whatever is there, 0.4 I'm going to 40 percentage. Click OK, it creates a point. Small point will come. Let's create one more point on here. Let's put this one is 0.60. Like this, we have two points. Okay. Now click on step pen, choose the line just like before. Click on sketch option, create a sketch. I'm going to create a rectangle on this particular location. You can see this pink and pink lines. That's let's provide the dimensions here. Let's put this one is 50 and so on also 50. Just like before. Confirmed. So in order to create a second sketch, so I'm going to click on inset first and choose this particular point. You have to choose the point. Okay, it comes point six here, point six, point zero. Sketch. Here the whatever the pink line is going to come here also. Let's create one more rectangle with a 25 into 25. Let's put this value as 25. 
this value also 25 and to confirm it you can see the problem i want to create a third rectangle here inset choose the third point here that is point one point one sketch you can see pink line again the dimension of this one should be 200 and confirm you can see increment of this particular thing so here the intersection is coming it is the which is coming like this but i don't want like this so yeah i'm going to change the, the size of this thing so that's why i'm going to click on the third sketch edit so instead of specifying 200 i'm going to specify around 100 confirm so that we can see the change of the shape here so do not make sure do not create a huge value a huge differences here so what happens is going to intersect to each other once it is done i want to close here so this time i want to create a circle here so this time i want to create a circle instead of creating a rectangle inside the fourth profile will come remember this one there are four endpoints are there any every rectangular every square up for four corners so this time whatever you created that one should also have four let's create a circle with a diameter of 150 but when i confirmed it we are not getting any number of points here in order to get these points i'm going to edit the sketch again here we have this option called as division or divide click on divide choose a closing point nearest to this point for the points one two three and four like this we can divide okay so if you rewrite this one if you divide it this one confirm it so that we can see the development of the point and one more thing it's going to intersect here why because every time so i'm going to delete this one so that we can see so this edit this one every time the arrow is coming down what direction but in this one we came at the top I'm going to confirm it inset sketch circle and this time i'm going to provide this one the same 150 and dividing it so at this time right now it's coming at the top the arrow is going to come at the top here so i don't want like that so in order to do that one i'm going to choose this particular point right click and make sure that pick start or starting point you can see the starting point so that we can see the direction here doesn't matter which direction is there confirm it you can see the change of development is going to come so anyway it is going to intersect because of the size or because of the dimension but i want to delete the both sections here if you want to like you can delete the second section like this and confirm it so that you can see the body like this so that is called swept bend so swept bend is a combination of sweep and extrude and it also have multiple sketches here next one we have blend option so blend is based on the view just like extrude okay just like extrude so i'm going to select the sketch which you created before and deleting it blend yeah already sections are there if i select one of the section here let's create one rectangle just like before i put a dimensions for this rectangle i'm going to provide this one is 100 and this one is 100. the only difference is before now it doesn't have path here before we have path right now it doesn't have path the second option in second sketch see the sketch one is there so specify the distance let's put this one is 50 and click on this option called as sketch new second sketch will come okay so first sketch is there second sketch is there now i'm going to create one more rectangle here the same dimension what we created before so here i'm going to provide the dimension that is 100 just like before and confirm it so it's going to develop a rectangle box like this now i want to create one more profile i want to create one more profile so here i'm going to pick on this option called as section insert because we are creating one more here so insert let's provide this one is 150 distance and click on sketch option let's choose a rectangle here a smaller or bigger depend upon your choice now i'm going to provide the dimension of this one is 50. confirm it so that we can see different structure is going to come now in the options we have smooth and straight will be there if you select a smooth the curvature will form if you select a straight the curvature will not form so depend upon the structure we can choose sweep or straight so if you choose a straight it comes straight choose smooth, tangents will come so tangents means free tangency no there's no conditions if you want to specify the conditions you can specify the conditions but anyway doesn't matter so i'm going to click on confirm so that you can see the development of the particular body now the third one we have rotational bend so rotational bend is somewhat difficult when compared to swept bend and bend so it's based on the rotation angle so for example let's create a rotational bend click on sketch or selection define choose one of the plane which plane you selected you want make sure that create a centric line and remember this one you can create any profile doesn't matter which profile you created let's put circle here and a preventing dimension for this side, 50. So remember this length, that is diameter, 100. Confirm it, we created one profile here. 
So create a second profile, specify the angle and click on the section. We'll get a reference of previous one and so that we can create a new one here. Confirm. I'm going to provide this for this 500 by 2. Only first one get diameter, second one doesn't get diameter. And let's put this diameter of this one is going to get 100 because one before. We can see a horn shape. Sorry. Like this. If you want to continue again, again, click on this section. Section. And insert new one. You can see section 3 with angle. Confirm it. And you can create a profile. So I don't want to create a profile. I want to select a projection of previous profile, this profile. So it is impossible to create a one. Make sure that you have to create a profile. So then, with the dimensions. I put this one as 50 and this one will be 250. Confirm it so that we can see incrementing and increment of the particular body. So in options, again, we have straight and smooth will be there. Depend upon choice, you can choose. And connect the end place and starting will means whatever is there is going to connect to the previous one. But it's not closed completely. That's why it's not going to select. Like this will come. So don't use until it's going to come nearest to that one. But I'm going to click on straight so that we can see the shape. It is based on the rotation volume. Okay. Okay. Let's use the option elix sweep. So, so I'm going to click on this elix sweep. So here also I have reference. Define. Select one on the plane. Click OK. Sketch view. Let's put one reference line. Now we need to specify the height of the spring. So I'm going to create the height of spring is 200 and the length of this or diameter of the spring. Okay, let's put this one is 200. Or whatever 100 you want, whatever number you want to specify, and specify 100. So this is a line which is represent the height of the spring. Confirm it. So here we have section view. So click on section or sketch. Create a circle or whatever shape you want to create. Now provide a dimension. Confirm it. It creates a spring-like structure. Now, so pitch is 20 is there. And uh, so if you want to change the pitch value, I'm going to change this one to so you can see the increment of the pitch. Confirm to see the spring like structure. For example, for example, I want to create a tension spring. In the spherical sweep, reference, define the plane, sketch, let put a spring height as 200 and length of this one is 50 or 25, whatever you want. So I'm going to create a centric line. Confirm. I'm going to create a sketch with a small diameter. Let's put a diameter of yeah. If we confirm it, we can definitely see the spring, which is regular spring. But I want to modify it. So here the pitch value there, click on pitch value, which is having a one pitch. Click on add button so that you can see one more pitch is coming. I'm going to add one more time so that we can change the pitch values depending upon choice. So in order to see clearly, so I'm going to add six switches. Six I'm going to select. Minimum six I'm going to select. Maximum is depend upon how many you want. Now, all the pitches values are same. That is 20, 20, 20, 20. At the starting means here, it will be 20. So in order to see clearly, I'm going to edit the sketch, which is created before, which is 10. So I'm going to provide, it is 5 only. So you can see small gap, large gap will be come like this. In pitch values, the start pitching value is, I'm going to provide 5. So here you can see the changing of the pitch, which is increasing from here to here. And the pitch ends after two revolutions, that means after two, after means, so if we consider the pitch value is five, so this one to this one is five, and this one to this one is five total here. So that means the second point here, point is the value of this point here, here I'm going to provide. So this value and the hundred is there. So here I'm going to pull this point, so it will be downward direction like this. So it takes a lot of time, right? So instead of that one, I'm going to provide a value here. Let put 20 here. The pitch value same as this one, five. So like this, you can see the pitch value is going to change. Similar way, at the hand also there, we have hand one also there. At the end, I'm going to provide at the end point. End point, I'm going to provide say which one five. The nearest to end, that means end value is this one. The nearest to end, the top value, that's this one, which is below that 200 here. So below, actually total length of this given is 200. So here 200 minus 20, I'm going to provide so that we can see 20 distance here, and the pitch value is five. So that we can see tension stream. Okay. So you can change the values here depend upon your requirement. So you can change the values here according to requirement. Remember starting, ending. Okay, then one or two points, two points which acts as the ending of the first speech and ending of the second speech and middle values here. Once it is done, confirm it so that we can see that electrical type of string is going to generate. Okay. I'm going to delete this one. So the shapes are done. We have engineering tools which have hole, draft, rounds, shell, chamfer, rib, like this. Let's choose the hole first. So in order to create a hole, I need a body. So let's create one extrude body. And whatever plane you want to choose, you can choose. 
let's create one rectangle for the present sake, which having a dimension of 300 and followed by 300. Confirm it so that we can see the box like structure which is having a 200 height. Confirm. Okay, now we can see the highlight of this tools hole. Click on hole. Choose a placement is going to ask. Choose a placement. You can choose any way wherever you want to choose a placement. You can choose here, you can choose here, you can choose here, wherever you want. Or once you select it, we can move the position also, it doesn't matter. Now, to confirm this hole, make sure that we have these two green dots are there, or two entities are there, which is a crack as a reference. Choose one is left side edge and one is top edge, which acts as a distance or position variations here. Let's put positions here. So in the first one, I'm going to provide so as 50. The second one is going to provide as 50 so that you can see the position of the particular hole. Now we have a diameter of hole which is given here. Let's put the diameter of hole as 25. And depth of hole is there. Let's put this one as same 200, what we specified before. Height, you can see the hole is going to depth. Okay, now I want the variation of this particular hole. So in order to see the whole variations here, I'm going to edit. I'm going to provide one of the dimension as zero so that we can see a half hour section hole, section below the hole. Okay, in the top, we can see the diameter and etc. etc. Et is there. Here, at the bottom, we have 200 distance set from the top to bottom throughout is there. So instead of specifying 200, I'm going to provide 150 so that we can see a flat hole is there. I don't want flat. Here, I'm going to select this option called as V drill. So you can see drilling type. So there is two options in this one. There are two options are this one. So from the top to bottom is 150, not tip. So if you want to tip, then choose a tip option here. Okay, up to the end, up to the tip hole. Tip or hole, dip the hole. So if you want to tip, choose a tip. And if you want to tip, you can do the tip hole and specify the tip hole distance. Once it is done, we have counter sunk or counter sink, which use it for nuts. And when you select that option, we need to provide the depth of this one. So I'm going to pull this one so that we can see depth here. So I'm going to change this one to 25 but unable to specify here. Now I'm going to choose the shape option. In the shape, we have angle and blend option. So blend means the height of this step. So here, the blend is given as a small value. So I'm going to increase this value. We have 30 is given. Let increase this value to 50 so that you can see bigger. Okay, once it is done, confirm. But I don't want bone-like structure. That is single-like structure I want to use to for Nuts. So I'm going to click on counter board instead of sink. We'll get a counter board for the shape and specify the shape or depth so that we can see that part. I want both combination. We can use both combination also. Both combination also. Confirm. You can specify that options here. So I click edit option. So if I selected this option, okay, create standard hole. It creates a standard hole based on the highest four standards. And what size of the drilling you want to specify? So now what size of screw you want to specify? How much depth you want to select? Okay, don't select these things. Just confirm it so that it creates based on according to the value of the standard values are there. You can see the standard values located at the bottom, or you can see the values here also. I'm going to increase this value. You can see bigger one. Confirm it. Like this, we can choose. I'm going to delete this one. The next two is called round. Is there? In the round there are two options: outer round and round. If I selected outer round. And specify the dimensions here, whatever dimension you want to specify. Let's create three and confirm. What happens is every edge of this particular cube or particular object gets wrong automatically. I don't want like that. So that's one manual wrong. Click on manual wrong. If I selected one edge, only for this edge is going to come. And I can change the values by pulling this edges here, entities, or you can specify the value here. Let's put five. Otherwise, let's put 10 so that we can let's put 25 so that we can see. If I selected one more edge set, so one more set is set means one more edge. Like this. Third set. Fourth set, like that. In the fourth set, I specify 25, but in the third set, I want to specify 50. So click on the third set. This one, you can increase the value here. So that means you can specify whatever number you want to specify for a particular edge. You can specify at a time, or you can specify individuals also. Once it is done, confirm so that we can see. Again, round. So instead of selecting edge, I'm going to right click here. So you can see the types are there. So I want to choose this edge, right click here. So we have types here, make it variable like that. Okay, so it is having a default 50 diameter, 50 radius fill edges there. Okay, I want to make sure that this one, one end should get 25, another end should be 50. So right click on this one, make it variable so that we can see two different radius. I will click on the first one, 25, the second one is 50. Once it is done, confirm so that we can see variable draw or variable fill. So like this, I can specify. Similar to that one, we have chamfer, click on chamfer. In the chamfer, we have D and D. D means dimension. So if I specify dimension, so both dimensions are same, D is going to D. 
I'm going to select one of the x so that both of these get same dimension. But I don't want that. I want b1 and b2 individual dimensions. So one is 25, another is 50. No, I don't want both dimensions. I want to dimension an angle. It is just like d and angle. At what angle? What is the dimension here? But I don't like this position which is created here. You can flip the direction here. Okay. And the angle is 45, but d value is there. So like this also, we can just like. Again, similar to previous one, yeah, so we can choose different sets here, like this, so that you can see and form. Similar to that one, I'm going to choose a chamfer here. We have corner chamfer is there. Click on the corner chamfer. I'm going to select this corner. This corner is point. If you select a corner chamfer, we have to specify three individual diameters, A1, D2, and D3. If you specify three individual diameters, you can see a corner chamfer or a cutoff diameter. Like this. Simply select corner, choose a corner. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's use draft. Click on draft. So here, two options will be there. Draft surface, draft inch, and pulling direction. Click on draft surface. Choose the surface which you want to draft. Choose the draft inch. Choose the direction where you want to draft. So like this. Okay, opposite or adjacent to the selected face. Now increase the angle or decrease the angle. So depend upon the value, we can change the drafting angle. Click on confirmation so that we can see draft. For example, I'm going to create a template on this particular face to the downward direction. Let's put the value as 50. 100, 100. Now use this draft option. Draft, I'm going to choose a drafting face. Inch, I'm going to select a face. So we know it is going to develop in one particular direction. Split here and choose a split by drafting inch or object. So if I select a draft inch, you have to select the same faces. So otherwise object means what type of the plane you want to select. So here I'm going to choose inch. So here the drafting inch, I'm going to choose the plane what we selected before. I'm changing this one, changing to plane. So now it is going to generate only half or partial draft. Okay. Now we can change the direction up and down, depend on our choice. If you want both, you can choose both directions. If you want only one direction, you can choose one direction. Okay. Confirm so that you can see draft. Again draft. So this time I'm going to use a referral object by using a sketch and creating one of the shape. Let's use this shape, a arc like structure. Confirm. I'm going to develop this one. Extrude. So I want to develop both sides with plane like this. This is the object. And confirm. It is a surface and it is a solid. Draft. I'm going to select this face. In I'm going to select this one. In the split option, I'm going to use object. This time, I'm going to select the surface. Only part of the surface or up to the surface is going to drop according to the surface. Confirm. So, if you want, doesn't want to see the surface, click on the surface, right click, and click on it again so that you can't see the surface. So, like this, we can drop. So, according to the surface, it will come. Now, draft here, angles are there. So, in default, if I select it, one face, one inch, angle will be formed as one. That is whatever angle you select. Now I'm going to right click here. I'm going to choose an option called as make it constant instead. So noted. So here I'm going to add one more angle that is not there yet. Okay. So here the angle is there, that is 50. Suppose, for example, if I selected one more surface. Two individual surfaces. Let's remove this one. I'm going to select this one. Hold Control and select this one. Let me select again. Draft. Draft surfaces. This one and this one. Both sides. In I'm going to select this one. You can see two draft angles here. And angles we can specify angles. I'm going to add one more angle so that we can see two more angles here. Okay. Confirm. R. Click on draft. This time I'm going to select only one face and one inch so that we can see draft only an angle and angles right click here on the number so that we can add it. Now we have two draft angles here. So it is located in 0.5 and we get located as 0.75. We can change this value according to the values. I'm going to add one more. I click here, add new one, which is coming in this direction. So it doesn't want location, we can change the location here like this. It doesn't like location, we can change the location. So I'll click on the number, specify the number. So we can specify two individual draft angles or three individual draft angles. Like this. Or you can specify based on steps. Step draft. 
like this. Okay, 20, 30, and 40. Confirm to see the draft. Next option. We have shell. Click on shell. Choose any face or more than one face to make it a shell. Hold control to select multiple faces. Hold control to select multiple faces. Hold only left click or click on the screen so that we can see only what particular face. And for see the halo section or shell section. Now I'm going to create a plane which is already there. Draft, oh sorry, yeah, BB is there. Click on rape. Choose a placement. Define. Choose a plane what we created before. Sketch you. I draw a small line like this. Confirm, it's going to extend the value like this, which waves the draft. So yeah, it creates extrude here. So this comes as a rib or support. Confirm to see the answer. Okay. Rib, face pin, choose the plane or face. So here I'm going to create one line here. Confirm it so that we can see the draft. Sure. So we can see the rib. Confirm it so that we can see it. So some of the features are not generating because of some creation. So let's delete this one. Let's choose a shell. Thickness, I'm going to put this thickness as well. Confirm. Rip. Placement. Define. Select the face R. H. Create a line. Confirm. You can see the so here we have add drop you can increase the drafting angle here and followed by fillets at the bottom you can increase the fillet value here and followed by around the drop you can see the rounded you can activate all the three options if you want i'm going to select like this confirm it. Let's use profile rib. So trajectory rib is there and profile rib is there. Let's make shell of three, four sides here. This side, like this L shape. Confirm. I'm going to create a profile here in between these two. Profile rib. References. Define. Choose perpendicular plane. Sketch you. Make sure that we have to choose the reference of this particular edge and reference of this particular edge. Right click. Reference. I'm going to select this edge. Select this edge as a reference. Close. And create a line between these two. Confirm so that we can see a ripple. I'm going to confirm it so that we can see a ripple. And deleting all these things. So once engineering is done, so we need to go to edit options. In the edit option, we have patterns. So to see the patterns, I need to create a body. Go to extrude. Select one of the plane. Create a shape. Rectangle with the dimensions. I put this one is 400 and this one also 400. Confirm it so that we can see one box. I put height as thickness as 10. The smaller one comes. I'm going to create a hole here. Click on extrude. Choose the face. Create a circle and make sure that click on normal. Select the center and select the edge. So that we can specify dimension between these two. 25. Again, center of the soccer and end of the previous body. Just by dimension and specify the diameter of the hole. Confirm. I want to cut it, but reverse direction with how much you want. So that we can see the hole. So in order to create patterns, first we need to select the hole or extrude two patterns. In the patterns, the first option is given as dimensions. Dimension means we need to select dimension. So after selecting dimension, specify a number and click enter. So that we can see two dots. Here we have two items. So if you want 10 items, specify 10 items. So that we can see 10 dots. The second direction, click on second and two second dimension. And specify a number, then enter. So that we can see second direction. You can change the number of the items. Then so that you can see 10 by 10 cores. Like this. And meanwhile, I don't want to see this particular three holes that's why i'm going back i'm going to select same extrude pattern dimension one 
enter dimension two. The final number enter. The final number of entries. Ten. Ten. So I don't want to see this three, and so I'm going to unclick this one. One, two, three. Confirm so that you can't see the whole set. I'm going back. I'm going to say select X2 pattern again. So this time, this was acting dimension. I'm going to change the di direction. Now I'm going to choose one of the edge as a reflow dimension, and I can change the direction of the element and specify number of entities. Let's put 10 and distance between each entity. Let's put 25. And the second direction, second arrow, or second edge, number of objects, and specify the dimension zero. So I specify the distance between the objects, so that we can see the same pattern. Just like before, so instead of specifying the dimension, we are using edge. I'm going to select the direction edge. The direction is reverse. And if you have options, you can use any general options. Ideal, available, variable, or ideal, identical. I mean, same same thing. Will and confirm so that we can see. So similar to that one, we have a rotational pattern a circle pattern let's create one more object here with a diameter 20 and with a distance of 100 cut one you can see one beam is going to come confirm so instead of selecting hole i'm going to select the cylinder pattern the pattern definition i'm going to use axis so in default if it doesn't have any axis let's choose the pale axis as the axis now, in the angle of 90, we are getting 4. If it doesn't want angle, so we can use total angle. In total angle, there are 4 bars. That means we specified 4, but I want 15. We specify 15. Confirm so that we can see that. Circle pattern. Similar to that one. So we have field pattern. So to field pattern, we need a sketch reference. Let's create a sketch. I'm going to create a sketch like this. Having fill or whatever is there. Let's put dimension of this one is 200. And this one is 200. I'm going to use fill it. This one and this one. So instead of wasting the time, I'm going to set it entire dimensions 45. So each fillet, I'm going to specify 50. Enter 50, enter 50, enter 50, enter. Click so that we can see a pattern like this. So that we can see a sketch like this. Now I'm using the extrude here. I'm going to fill pattern. So the filling area. So here yeah, it doesn't have any reference. Here I'm going to choose a sketch. Reference. Define. Select this face. Now before only we create one sketch. I'm going to choose the particular sketch as a reference here. Now we can't see that because it's not confirmed. I think so. Let's create one more time from the center. And it is fill it. I'm going to set the other dimensions here. Modify. So it is 50, 50, 50, 50. The dimension of this one is 200. The dimension of this one is 200. You can see the small rectangle box is coming. Confirm it. Only in the particular position or only in the particular area only you will get it. Right. So we have some errors here. I think the distance is not valuable. And I'm going to specify space between these two or twenty. Confirm. So that is too small. Let's go back. Then the gap is too small. That's why it's not coming. Extrude. I'm going to select the space. Let's create one circle with a certain diameter. Let's take. Confirm. You can see one stick like structure. I'm going to use pattern. In this one thing pattern. Reference, define, and select this one. Let's use rectangle without anything else so that we can see clearly. Confirm. Now we can see the pillars are coming. Now we can see the pattern. Only the filling area will come. Let's see different options. Pattern. I'm going to use the next option called as reference pattern. For reference pattern, for example, I created this body. I also created some round for it. Unfortunately, when I selected extrude to 
only x2 to get the pattern direction opposite direction it put as 10 confirm only x2 will come not related not on in order to get around pattern choose around pattern reference will be selected confirm so that we can see round back lines now let's see mirror so i'm going to cut this here or i'm going to add reference here i'm going to click on extrude select this particular face one small rectangle confirm confirm again let choose this extrude what we created mirror make sure that you have to choose a mirror plane i'm going to choose this plane confirm so whatever this side is going to copy and paste over on the side mirror. similar to that one we have this option called extension trim match and some production is there let's use this option called as production i'm going to de delete this extrusion i'm going to create a sketch plus one spine or one curve whatever is for to create okay okay i'm going to create this one i'm going to confirm it so that we can see a cylinder like structure but unfortunately i need a curve here a curve so which is located in different plane let's add one plane this in different plane Item plane. I'm going to select this one. Sketch. Let's create one profile here. Right. Confirm. So this profile should be come over this one. That's why production. So here we have to select the reference type surface and followed by reference change or sketch profile. So when is that along direction is there? The plane also we have to require plane. Confirm. So this same profile is going to come here. So we can use for extrusion or developing or whatever surface you want to extrude, can use. So this is our production set. Now, we have extension is there. I'm going to create one surface. Let's create an arc like structure. So we can extrude this line as a surface. This is done. But unfortunately, I want to extend this particular edge here. So first, I'm going to select the surface. Then I'm going to choose the edge. Remember, first you have to select the surface, then you have to choose the edge. Then extension will come. Click on extension. Set. We can how much extension you want to develop this one. So you have two options will be there: along and tangency. If you use tangency, tangency will come like this. Or part armor. So here I'm going to remove again. See, this one I'm going to choose this plane so that according to the plane will come. Whatever plane and whatever direction selected according to the plane comes. It is called tangency. Another one is normal. Normally, it's uh, extension of the particular curve. And confirm. It's going to extend. Next one. Offset is given, so make sure that you have to choose the surface and click on offset surface so that we can see duplicate surface. I'm going to edit this extrusion symmetrical confirm so that we can see two different surfaces. I'm going to create one more surface and the bottom plane. Let's create a circle which is also converted into a surface by using extrude. So instead of solid, instead of solid, I'm going to make sure that surface is there. Confirm. Now we have these options. So here we have trim, which helps to cut the surface by using this one. First, I'm going to select the surface so that we can see the trim action activated, trim, and cutting surface is this one. Confirm so that the internal part of particular shield is going to cut off. For example, I'm going to edit this one so that we can see the cutting section of that particular surface. No, otherwise. Otherwise, I'm going to create one more time. I'm going to create a cylinder like structure which is developed as surface with symmetrical plane. Let put the value as 100. Confirm. I'm going to create one more profile perpendicular to the cylinder. So this time, I'm going to create an arc like structure like this. Confirm. So this one also extruded or evolved based on the requirement. But I'm going to extrude it and it should be symmetrical. Should cover total body. Confirm. So now I want to cut this external face by using the surface. Choose the surface which you want to cut. Trim surface. So whatever the sketch is going to come, that come is going to come remove. So this one I want to remove. This one should be removed. Confirm so that the section will be removed from the screen. So here I doesn't require this one. I'm going to edit. So right click on this one, 
it's going to form that particular shape. So I'm going to control it. Delete this one. It's all these things. So we have thickness here. So in order to use thickness, I need the surface. Let's create the surface like this. Confirm. I'm going to download the surface. And use the tool. Confirm. Now click on this one. Call that thickness. So here yeah, the sheet converts into uh, the surface converts into sheet. Now solid file. So solid file makes solid part. Let's wait one complete expansion. Complete uh, two. So I want to in this direction. Confirm. This time I'm going to create an arc like structure to cut this the solid, not arc. Okay. Face of face. Confirm. I'm going to develop this one by using this tool. Confirm. Here, two solid files. You can also have the solid first. No, you can have the surface first. Solid file. And you have to choose the cutting the option so that you can see the cutting the option shape. I don't like the shape. You can see the direction. Confirm. The last two groups. So this one is called intersection. And this one is called arch. Let's create two surfaces here. I'm going to extrude it. X2, A. So this side, I'm creating one head shape. The dimension of 150, 150 by 150. So in between these two, I'm going to create a similar. We have one surface. We have one surface which is extruded like this. One direction we extruded. So I need to create one more surface. If you want to create the same shape, we can create the same shape, but I don't want to create the same shape. So instead of creating a curve like I'm going to create a curve. From here to here. Confirm it and develop this one. I'm going to extrude it also. This time this direction. Confirm. Now, I want to make sure that the intersection surface should come. Intersection is wherever these two are going to intersect. So I'm going to select the surface, hold control, select the surface also, both surfaces you have to select, intersect. So it creates a profile here. For example, if I hit these two surfaces, you can see a three dimensional curve, which can be used for sweep also later purpose. But like this, you can create a three dimension. Similarly, yeah. I want to cut this particular shape and create as a single surface instead of extra. So I'm going to create one more extrude on this particular face. Let's create this shape. The same as before, that is 150, 150, and the This time I'm going to see. Also, So this one is a little bit, and I'm going to create that. So we have two surfaces here, but it's one and then it's here. So yeah, I'm going to make sure that both should be merged with each other. So I'm going to select this surface, I'm selecting this surface. I'm going to click on merge option, so that both common surfaces will be selected and confirm it. Make a merge surface here, by using both surfaces here. And later we can use as thickness if you want. And confirm it. So that we can see a merge surface. In the last one, we have editing tools. Now we are using some. So before going to the surface, so whatever you want to create here, you have to create a surface, you are using the surface, you have to create a little bit more complicated surface. In the first option, we have clicked. Okay. I'm going to create a close profile. Unfold it and convert it to the surface. So I'm using the R. I'm using this one bound to bend, just like a bend, just like a seed bend. Here are the bound to bend. Let's create multiple. Click on sketch one, select, sketch, play, let's create a curve select. I'm going to create a R from the and follow that diagonal. 
sketches can be created so this time i'm going to create one more profile so this time i'm going to create what i can obtain is for now to the third one i'm going to create a little bit more let's put a value here so this time i'm going to click on the option i'm going to click on the option like this one before click okay but here i want to increase the size
sheet metal click ok right in the sheet metal we can see also shapes in this one first tool is color planar click on planar preference define select one of the plane click ok click on sketch view create any closer profile specify its dimension that port this one is 25 so it is around 12.5 road distance is 25 and half of the 25 25 by 2 confirm and specify the thickness of the sheet here I'm going to specify 1 mm so 1 mm is the thickness of the sheet or we can provide 0.5 mm depend upon requirement but I'm going to provide one so that we can see more differences here click OK to confirm so that we can see a one sheet after selecting planar we are flat and flat click on flat option in the flat we need replacement so placement means we have to choose an edge let's choose edge so here we are getting downward direction if you want to flip you can flip it sorry I'm cancelling it down means up up means down select downward so that we can see upward direction here in default whatever the thickness is there is considered as the radius if you want to more thickness you can change the thickness here suppose for example the one is a thickness straight if you want a two just specify two if you want ten specify ten now I want to save amount of thickness that's why I'm going to specify thickness by clicking this arrow and click on thickness or you can multiply the number of thickness you can specify thickness if it doesn't want thickness just put zero zero so that there is no thickness so now I'm going to specify thickness so that we can see thickness bend here we have angle how much angle you want to and this one we can increase or uh, decrease the angle here and increase the angle so but based on the angle we can see the sheet metal is going to form so let's consider the angle is 90 and here one more option is called height how much height you want to get so length of this particular sheet depends upon this height let's put this one height is 50 here the shape will be there click on shape so that we can see the height here also the left side and right side call as entities so i'm going to choose this entity if you want more than the sheet you can use more if you want less than the sheet we can use less so depend upon the controlling of these two values we can see the limitation of the sheet is going to double let's put this one as five minus five and this one also minus five so that we can see only limited thing is going to come in the sketch suppose in case I doesn't like this particular shape we can change the sketch click on sketch here I'm going to create one circle so whatever you do you can do but make sure that these two entities should be stayed like this only. I'm going to remove the shape here so that we can see that shape flat. So like this we can create. So depend upon if you want a different, uh, different shape, we can use a shape by using sketch option. 
In the offset, if you want to specify offset, click on offset so that we can provide an offset here. So by value, I'm going to specify how much offset you want. Let's put some value, let's like uh, 5 mm. So you can see extension of this going to come. You can put negative value also, which comes inside. You can change the values here. That is offset how much from where it should come. So default, if you want values, you can simply put the value. Otherwise, just automatic. So yeah, relief is there. Rip, rip, relief is there. Rip is already there. So we are not choosing more than one. That's why it doesn't require this one. So I'm going to confirm it so that we can see the flat. Let's consider two flats. Select this one. I'm going to hold the control to select the multiple edges at a time. Sorry, it is not reality. Right. So here we have shapes of the flats are there. It is rectangle. First one we see in this one i'm going to choose different one let's choose different one trapezoid shape so in trapezoid shape we can see the entities so that you can increase or decrease the value depend upon choice and also we can see the angle of this tapering outside or inside depend upon choice double click and specify the value click and here also we can change the shape if you want and you can create and modify the different kinds of shape. Let's put this value as 10 and remove the confirm so that like this will come. Confirm. I'm cancelling it. I'm going to select the flat, flat again. I'm going to choose the same edge at the bottom. Instead of trapezoid, L shape. We can change this direction instead of left direction. We can change this one to opposite direction and followed by T shape. And we can increase to U shape also. We can change to U shape also if you want. R steps, R J shape, like this. Depend upon whatever you specified. The last one is user. Defined user defined is simply just like a sketch. So create. Remember the bottom one is acts as a reference. Right click, reference, bottom line as acts as a reference, and create whatever shape you want to create. And make sure that the bottom should not be there, bottom line should not be there. Confirm it. The same thing is going to come, whatever shape you selected. Like this, we can see the flat. Similar to the flat, we have flange. So click on flange. Here we have I shape, which is default. Placement and define and choose the edge just like before. Click OK. It forms same I shape is going to come. We can change the shape of this I to arc, which is gives a curvature. So here we can increase the curve here, arc, so that we can see increase of the fillet. This is arc, this is extension, whatever extension is want to can specify. So defaultly it is arc. And followed by your S shape comes like this. And followed by open, you can see the C shape, which is open, and followed by flush, which is connected to the bottom of the sheet or top of the sheet, depending upon direction. And jug. Jug means just shape of S, which is smaller or less fillet here. We can decrease or decrease the value here. Increase or decrease the curvature of this jug. The last one, sorry, sorry, dock shape is there. So we can see shape of the dock like this. And followed by C, which acts as a C. And Z, 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 you can see the initial shape, look like moreoverly reverse to or two shape. So let's choose one of the shape, let's choose a, a shape, like this will come. If you want to change the shape, click on the shape here and sketch. So you can extend this one if you want, click on the sketch, sketch view. So I want to extend this one. So if you want to extend, just add 
some lines here like this. I'm going to add some fillet here between this one, this one. Confirm. It's going to extend it. So like that, I can modify existing shape to no shape slide. Here also extrude is there. Click on extrude, placement, define. Choose one of the plane. Let's create one rectangle here. Center rectangle. Suppose in case if I specify any dimensions for it, let's put a dimension of 100 and 100. Confirm. But in the end of the section, whatever you created is going to convert as sheet, not solid. You may look like a solid option here. You can see the solid option, but it comes as sheet only. How much thickness you want? Based on thickness will come. At the edge, we can say instead of getting a corner, we will get a fillet type of end is going to come. The higher the radius, the higher the curve will come and confirm. Like this, we can see. Here also we have boundary blend. So I am going to create multiple sketches here. Click on sketch, select one of the plane, create. Let's create one arc between these two, confirm. And I am going to create one more reference plane from here to certain distance. I am going to create a sketch on this particular plane projection to the previous sketch, confirm. So we have two sketches. I'm going to select boundary blade, hold the control, select the first and select the second, confirm. So instead of getting a surface, instead of getting a surface, we are going to get a sheet. Okay, like this also we can do. Now let's make a sheet as a planar surface here again. Planar surface, reference, define, plane sketch let's choose a rectangle with the size of 100 by 100 Now I'm going to provide a thickness of the sheet is 1 mm. Confirm we got a sheet. Now I want to use this options called as rip and etc. etc. And followed by some other uh, tools are there. I want to use those things also. Before going to gene, uh, engineering, I want to see the bending options, then I will come back to the engineering. First of all, I'm going to select unbend. Suppose, for example, if you created any wall or edge on wall or any flat which is already there, I want to make it flat. So unbend makes unbending of the sheet. But anyway, we can see the traces of the bending. But if you want to bend again, we have bend, place bend, not sorry, this one, bend back. Confirm so that we can be rebent. For example, I want to bend the sheet, existing sheet, based on the my requirement. So bend. So we, here we have placement. So choose the placement here. Detailed. Choose the surface or any other option. So we, here we can see two green dots or green entities. Select the first entity and select the second entity and from where you want to create this entity. So this entity, it is a length, you can modify 100, so it is 100 already there. Let's put this one as 50, this one also 50, you can see equal spreading. So if you want to change the direction, we can change the direction, 
whichever direction you want it to bend, you can bend it. Or less means less. Confirm to bend the sheet. Next, flat pattern. Click on this one. Whatever you created becomes a flat one. Just like a unbent only. Now, let's see offset blend. Click on offset, offset. Choose a reference or choose the existing sheet and specify the distance. Let's put distance between these two sheets are five. You can see two individual ends like this. Next one, see extension is there. Make sure that you have to choose the sheet and the face of the sheet so that you can extend it or decrease it. Confirm, con extend. Now I want to split this area, area split. Select the surface and create whatever profile you want to create. Let's put create one line from here to here. Confirm. So what happened means it's going to create two different sheets here. So this is the one sheet and this is the one sheet. That is called splitting area. Now come to these options call as conversion corner relief. Let's choose conversion. For example, if you've already created some sheet or any other body, let's go back to party side. So we are right now we are in sheet metal, but I want to go to part design. Here we have search option, click on search, type part. So here switch to part model there, click on that one so that we can enter into part design. Create a solid body, whatever shape, whatever body you want to create. And make sure that specify its dimension. Let's put this one is 100. And this one also 100. You can see rectangle, which is converted into a solid body of 100 by 100. Confirm. Let's convert this one. Type sheet, convert to sheet metal. So here we have a driver surface and shell body. Click on shell. Make sure that this body is specified at the hand. Click OK to confirm. Before going to shell, we need to convert this one to a sheet here. We have shell is there, so we have to convert it. Conversion. Make sure that you have to choose one of the face or one of the edges here. I'm going to choose this edge. This edge is selected. Like that, we have to choose all the edges. Hold the control. Select the multiple edges. OK, and followed by base. Like this, you have to choose. Now, before that one, now let's choose this option. Rip. Edge rip. Select this edge. Select this edge. Select this edge. And select this edge like this. We have to choose. Confirm it. We got selected this. And we also have bending select. Bending. Select this one. We already selected. See, at the bottom, we already seen the bendings. Confirm. Confirm again. So if I flatten the platen, so flat here, if I select it, it comes a open bolt. Like this. Okay. Choose a surface or choose any face. Flat. Now, for example, I created my own surfaces or sheet metal in the direct sheet metal. Instead of converting, let's create one sketch which is size of 100 by 100. Hundred by hundred. Confirm and converting it to a sheet by using a plane order. I'm going to choose the flat end. This one is coming up, but I want downward direction. That's why I'm going to select the bottom one. The angle is 90. 
and moreover I want to make more that's why I'm going to select bottom one confirm here we can see this kind of error it is not suitable that's why I'm going to click on this one call as corner relief V notch is there we can choose whatever shape you want to choose let's select V notch select this edge and this one so I'm going to choose this V notch is already there we can see that on different we can choose a different V notch circular rectangle obeyant let's choose a circle if I choose a circular we need to specify the dimension of a circular options or placement whatever is there in the options or placement placement so just provide the values of this one which is given as thickness I'm going to increase the two times of thickness and this one of the two times of thickness you can see the increment of that one if you want more we can just drag this value so that we can see more confirm so that we can unfold it like this will come okay a circular shape will come but instead of circle I want rectangle we can choose edit option and we can choose a rectangular shape if you want up brown we can choose up brown confirm like this will shapes will come that is called corner relief now let's go to repair for example a rectangle sketch is generated converted to extrude so in default we can see the default I'm going to provide this one as 50 and this one also 50 confirm we can see the sheet is going to generate let put this small value 30 it is complete single sheet if you unfold it it's not going to fold unfold it that is if you selected the flat pattern it is not going to generate because it is a single sheet which is already designed by extrude it is designed by extrude here we have rip option click on rip I'm going to select one of the edge here so what happened means it is going to divide that particular section suppose if I flat it becomes open open section like this we can do now in the rip we have surface rip so based on the surface you have to choose so before that one I'm going to delete the rip surface rip choose a surface entire surface is going to vanish confirm that is called surface rip and followed by sketch rip click on sketch select this particular face or any other face draw a rip or draw a reference I'm going to right click here before going to create a line right click reference let's choose this end as a reference and this edge as a reference if you're getting unable to see the edge make sure that you have to choose this option called as edges so that you can see the edges now I'm going to create a line from here to here confirm according to that one it is going to rip the shape for example if I flatten the surface instead of getting a rectangular shape we are going to cut the shape so this shape comes here this comes here The last one is called as rip connect so it is difficult I'm going to select this one anyway so must we have to select the first point and followed by the last point of this particular cross section of diameter two sides confirm so it's saying the regeneration is failed I'm going to select again here we want to select first one opposite to this one I'm going to select here the second one so it's saying regeneration is not going to come click OK 
Boss vom Pingeste. Otherwise, you can see the Crossly. Here. And here. Confirm. So here also, like this also we can do. But the thickness is too small, that's why this is not coming. Flat. Just like before. Now. Let's create a surface, a simple pattern surface. I want to stamp on this particular face. So we have forms here, click on form option. The model we have to choose. Let's choose the model. Let's choose with this one. Otherwise, we can simply select this folder option to see the models here. But I don't want to. I'm going to choose a shape here. Place a model where you want to punch it. You can see the placement is coming here. Just drag left side and drag positions here. So we can see a small rip is going to come by the shape. So if you want edit it, edit it. So click on this option call as replace manual or again click here so that we can change the shape here. Change this shape first of all. Let's increase the size of this one. It's already coincide perfectly, but when I confirm it, it's not going to form. There is that option. This one option should become. Let's cancel this one. Forming. Choose a lower. Lower. Here we need to select this reference one from this end. Reference two from this end. And make sure that you have to select this one. Varying punch model. So in this one, we need to choose a punch here. So I'm going to click here. So we can see the dimension of the punch by selecting the options. Add mode. Let's select the shape of this one particular box. In this one, we have height and followed by gap thickness. I want to select this one, this one, and followed by this one. If you want height, you can choose a height, but I don't care. Okay. And followed by I want to choose this particular height, this one, thickness, the length of this one, the height of the total one, so angle I'm not going to change, the fillet height of this one, okay, these values I selected, so here a fillet also selecting. These are the values I'm going to select. Now, if you want to choose these values, we can multiply these values by how many times you want to select. So I'm going to choose this value. I'm going to multiply this value. That means let's put new value as five times of previous one, 0 0.8, sorry, 0 0.0800 0 0 into five times. Like this also you can put. Otherwise, you can increase by dimensions. Original value is there and duplicate value is still there. Let's put this one is 15 and this one is 28. This one is 12 and this one is 16. And this one is 16 again. This one is 8. 10 times I am increasing 100 times and followed by this one is 16. Click OK. Very punch model so that we can see the increasement of this particular body. OK. And placement. This thing is done.
one for one minute. Let's delete this one. Otherwise, you can manually increase. Select this one. Choose the placement from where you want to. From where you want. You can see the placement is going come. The thickness is very small. That's why it's not coming. In details, varying punch. Click OK. We can see the varying punch here. Let's choose the revolve option here, which having a dimension. Let's put this value as four. This one, this one, and this one. This time I'm going to increase this values are 10 times. It is 1.6, 1.6, .6, it is 0 0.8 I'm going to provide. Next, I'm going to modify this one also. The radius and the gap and the rounds. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. So this value is 15. I'm not changing any angle. 12, 16, 28. Continue. We can see a little bit bigger one than previous one. If you want more size, you can increase the size by using same option. Very. You can see increase of this particular size and confirm. <coughs> okay, let's use this form option. Form, form. Choose a placement where you want to create the form. Use type of form, which type of form you want. Let's choose the round breed form the one edge and followed by one edge like this specify the dimensions let put this one is 30 and this one is 30 click on this option call as inheritant shape bearing punch you can see the punch shape so in default i'm going to select this bottom edge totally so that we can see the shape or you can edit here also depend upon your size Let's put the size 15 is coming width of this one and width of this one and width of this one that means distance from this area to this face this 40 and total height so we selected some options here let's increase every value by 10 let's put this one is 15 this one is 1.6 let's put this one is 1.6 Let's put this one as 1.6. Let's put this one as 1.6. And let's put this value as 4. And it is 3. You can see bigger one is going to come. Just to confirm the shape. So yeah, the thing is, uh, we're getting more value, I think so. Too high. I think some of the value is too high. This fillet is not okay. That is for not coming. Add more. The fillet is given as 16. So this also 1.6. Confirm. Confirm so that we can see the punch. Or form. Okay. 
like this we can create a form function flat form makes a flatter one again you can see the flat form now in this one sketch form is there click on sketch form placement define face of the sheet and create whatever shape you want to create you can create confirm according to the form shape it is going to come so i'm going to change the direction here flip you can see the form and if you want a bending different shapes you can see the shapes here so here i'm going to choose edge rounds placement edge round placement so that you can see rounds are going to come confirm so that we can see stamping and followed by die stamp this form is given so here also we have to choose some models here which is already selected just like before okay once part design is done i'm going to create assembly design so click on new assembly click ok okay then we will enter into assembly in assembly design i want to create piston connecting rod and crankshaft in order to create these parts i have to select this option called as creation create part and solid click ok so in default we can copy but i don't want to copy i'm going to select empty save i'm going to click on ok in the part here right click and make sure that activate right now we are in the part design i'm going to create a sketch by using one of the plane click ok to confirm so whenever you select any plane or any face or any object see here i have to choose a references line let's create one circle with certain diameter let put diameter of the circle is 30 and confirm it once it is done extrude it with the size of 15 confirm so that we can see a cylinder similar to this one i'm going to create one more extrude on this particular face let's create references again this time i'm going to select this line this line and the width circle also close it i'm going to create a circle then i'm going to create one more circle make sure that the previous circle and current circle should be tangential by using constraint tangency now i'm going to provide the diameter of the crank or diameter of this first circle is 40 and the second circle will be 8 now i need to create two lines first line and second line both are tangents to this line the circle i'm going to create one more line from here you can see here intersection and one more here and both should make an angle between the first lines i'm going to create angle to this line to this line as 120 similar to that one i'm going to create one more time this line and this line 120 if you want to decrease the values we can decrease the values but i want to keep 120 here to remove the extra lines i'm going to use this option called as delete segment select the lines so that we can remove here the line is too small so that's why i'm extending it let's put this one as 120 again i'm going to select this line again the inner circle whatever your circle is created i'm going to remove the circle and the outer circle of this particular section the inner lines so that we can see a crank shape once it is done confirm it and extrude this one by using extrude option confirm extrude i'm going to provide 10 
confirm to see the crank shape. Once it is done, I'm going to create some rounds on here with the size of 15 and this here also. Confirm. At the bottom, I'm going to create a round here, a round here, and followed by a round here. So this time, I'm going to provide only 10. And this one is 10. Confirm it so that you can see that one. Once it is done, I'm going to create a cylinder here by using a sketch, plane, perpendicular plane or parallel plane, depending upon choice. So we got a perpendicular plane and cancelling it. Extrude, select this particular face and choose the reference as this bottom one. Choose a circle with a certain diameter. Let's put a diameter as 40. It is bigger. So let's put 30 only. Confirm so that we can see a signal is coming out. Let me put this value as 25 and confirm it. I'm going to create one more time on this particular face with the reference of this circle. One more circle. This time I'm going to put this value as 50 diameter. Confirm it so that we can see a shaft like structure. I'm going to add a charm for here so that I can cut this particular section by using a sketch. Sketch perpendicular plane. I'm going to use the stop end as a reference, the side end as a reference. Close. Let me create a triangle shape here. Like this. Here I need a length of 25. Confirm it and extrude it. I want to cut. Choose a cutting material or remove material so that we can remove the section. Confirm it so that we can see remove. Later, I want to add some rounds here. At the bottom it is coming, but I want the top to confirm. And here I want to create a chamfer. Chamfer. This is three chamfer, three, and this one also three. So the half of the crank is done. I want to complete this crank. That's why. Let me add some round here. Let's put one round. I'm going to put one. This end also. This one also. Confirm. We are round. I want to mirror this entire body. So in order to mirror it, make sure that you have to choose here. Smart is there. Choose a part. Choose a complete part. Mirror. Choose a plane or face. So that we can complete the crank. Now we created a crank shaft. Once it is done, once it is done, I want to create connecting rod. That's why I'm going back to assembly, right click, activate. So the part one is a crank. Part two, I want to create connecting rod. Again, go to create part, click OK, empty, click OK. So that we can see part two. Make sure that click on the part two, right click and activate. So that we can see part two. Similar to before, I want to create a crank on this particular location. That's why click on sketch or click on extrude. And choose the references here. So here I'm going to choose the inner line. See, you can see the inner line as a reference one. Then two axes are the reference lines also. I'm going to create a circle here to here. 
I'm going to create one more circle. Which is big enough to outer circle. Let me put a radius here. Let me put this radius as a diameter as 40. If you want to increase more, you can increase. Let me put this one is 25.42.5 like that. Confirm it so that we can convert it to a cylinder. In default, I want to create complete crank, but I want to mirror it later. That's why I'm going to provide only half of the crank. Confirm so that we can see crank. Before we use some fillet here, that's why also using round at particular end. Confirm. Once it is done, I have to create the piston end of the connecting rod. So that's why go to sketch again, select the plane again, click on sketch again. Now I'm going to choose this as a reference and this also reference, not circle. Close. Let me create two circles here, first circle and second circle. Here, the outer diameter I'm going to consider as 30. The inner diameter I'm going to consider as difference between the previous and now. So before we have 42 as outer, inner as 30, so that we can see the 12 difference is coming. That's why 30 minus I'm going to 12.5. This is almost getting 17.5. Now I'm going to provide the crank height. Let me put this is 115. It is a random value just for references I'm going to create. Confirm it so that we can see a cylinder there. I'm going to extrude this one also by using extrude. But this time I'm going to extrude only 10 mm. Confirm so that we can see crank. I want to create a bridge between our web here. Click on sketch again. Select the plane. Click OK. Choose references again. I'm selecting this outer circle as a reference one, this outer circle as a reference one, and the inner circle as reference two. I'm going to create a circle from center to outer one, circle center to outer one at the bottom also. Let me create one line which is argental, sorry, which is vertical, and tangential to this inner circle, tangential to inner circle. Again, I want to mirror this line, that's why centric line. Choose the line first, mirror, centric line, so that we can see opposite direction. Once it is done, remove all the extra lines here by using delete segment. So I don't want this line, the inner lines also. The outer circle also and here also the inner lines the outer circle once it is done just confirm so that we can extrude it select the sketch extrude so this time i'm going to extrude only 7.5 right confirm Confirm so that we can see a bridge between the both ends of the corrective rod. I'm going to create some rounds. Let me put a round here with a value of 40. Here also a 40. Here also 40. Here also 40. Confirm it. I'm going to put one more round and this end with the same 40, here also 40, confirm it, like this will form, once it is done, if you want to cut any particular shape, you can cut here, that's why I'm going to create a new extrude on this particular face, let's choose, this is a reference one, and this is a axial reference two, I can use this, this one as a reference also, but not necessary, let me create two circles here, first circle, second circle. Provide the distance between these two circles from year to year as 50 and the diameter of this one is 10. Remember R1 means R1 
means this one is equal to this one and the height will be around 35 from the center i want to create a line make sure that this line is tangential to the circles again i want to make sure that it should be references or mirror by using a centric line i'm going to select this line mirror i'm going to select the centric line so that we can see centric line whatever the extra lines are there we can remove bottom also the inner circles also once it is done confirm so we have some extra areas which is coming outside we can remove those things also confirm now how much depth you want to cut so here i'm going to select the mirror image and i want to depth cut only 5 mm cutting confirm I'm going to add some rounds here inside with one outside with one confirm it so that we can see round. so entire body is done i want to mirror entire body that's why make sure that select the part choose a part mirror choose a face of the connecting rod so that we can mirror entire connecting rod like this so once it is done our final part is a piston now once it is done i'm going back to assembly design right click reactivate create part okay empty okay click on part 3 right click activate now we have the position so that's why i'm going to create a piston here only so i'm going to select same sketch plane sketch again now we can see the reference as this axis and this is a position of the entire body so i'm going to choose this circle so that i can remember this circle position i'm going to create a circle a rectangle here exactly now center line once it is done provide the dimensions of this one let me put the value from year to year as 25 the total height of the piston will be 65 and that width of this particular piston or half of the piston diameter will be 30 here i'm going to add one more rectangle from the bottom of this rectangle with certain thickness let me provide the thickness by the selecting these two lines 5 mm and select this two as 5 mm once it is done the remove the extra lines whatever is coming so i want to remove this extra line this one too once it is done confirm it and use revolve so already existing sketch is there and i want to choose a placement of revolution that is axis I think the axis is broken. Let's use this one again. Revolve. The placement is coming. That sketch is not coming. Placement. I'm going to use previous sketch as a references. Let me create the same thing from here to here is one rectangle and from here to here is one rectangle and remove the extra lines whichever is getting and followed by a centric line confirm so that we can revolve it now we can see the piston shape but it's not completely piston so piston shape is done i want to cut the piston hole here that's why click on extrude select the perpendicular plane to the crank so here in this case this is a perpendicular plane i'm going to choose the references just like before now use circle center and diameter confirm and extrude this one so i want to cut that's why i'm going to select cut should be symmetrical both sides 
confirm so that we can see pinhole or piston hole like this once it is done i want to add piston ring shapes here that's why i'm going to select the sketch option select any perpendicular plane define so here i'm going to choose the top as reference and bottom also reference the center also reference if you want and the side also reference i'm going to create a random rectangles here one two three at the bottom also one now we have the dimensions here we can provide the dimension let me put the gap between these two is two so three and uh, this one is two from the top it should be like at five the depth of piston pin will be three and this one also five and we need a reference axis Centric blade, centric line, confirm, and I'm going to use revolve. This time cutting, confirm, so that we can see the step rings also. Now in the final part, I want to create the crank pin or piston pin here. Go to assembly, right click, activate, create, okay, empty, okay, activate the fourth part. Sketch, choose a perpendicular plane. Now choose the reference as before. Close, just to create a circle. Then extrude it. Times. I want to extrude to certain length. Let put me put this one as twenty seven point five or certain value. Let put this one as twenty eight. 28 but should be symmetrical so 28 into 2 times like this now piston is coming piston pin is coming only inside but i want to edit this particular previous creator we previously created model go to assembly again reactivate go to the third part or previous part and reactivate now we can edit it click on sketch select the face So I'm here. I'm going to create this as a reference. This is also reference. Close. Let me create a rectangle here. Now, the distance from the reference will be twenty-eight. And this one, I'm going to put this one as ten. And total distance is twenty. I want to mirror it, so that's why centric line. Select entire rectangle mirror centric line so that we can see the opposite direction also. I want to extrude it. Select this uh, sketch, extrude, and make sure that symmetry is there. So I want to cut, confirm, so that we can see the piston is done. Once it is done, go back to assembly, right click, and reactivate so that entire assembly design of piston, connecting rod, and crank is done. Now we can modify it. I'm going to save this file on the desktop model and no folder. Let me put a folder name as piston or single region. Click OK to confirm. I'm going to save the file. Sorry, it is not saving. Let me select the file. File, save. Single engine is there. Just put the name. It put me single engine. Save. So directory saying that invalid. Just to save the file. Let me see the files are saved or not. Model. Can see the all the assembly parts. Once it is done, if you want to provide any type of assembly constraints, okay, the designing part of the piston connecting rod and crankshaft is completed. So I want to create a mechanism for it. To in order to create a mechanism, 
I'm going to create one more body create part so this time I'm going to specify this file as a part 5 because we are already have 4 parts empty click OK now select the part 5 right click and make sure that it should be activated once it is done create a sketch or extrude on this particular face let me choose this inner circle as a reference and outer circle as a reference creating two circles here or circle second circle and developing this one little bit thickness so that we can see a cylinder like structure similarly I am going to create one more body here the same part extrude center the face choose a reference choose a centric point lines create one circle up to here create a rectangle which is coincide to this one so I am going to create reference this edge also as a reference I am creating one rectangle from somewhere like this up to here I am going to create like this I am going to create once it is done confirm it and you can develop based on the direction up or down I'm going to specify a thickness here 10 so in order to make single body I'm going to join from here to here by using the sketch face so I'm going to create the reference of the circle outer circle and reference of this edge as a reference second reference I'm going to create a rectangle on this particular axis which is going to touch the cylinder at the bottom or you can choose here also depend upon choice so I am going to remove the extra lines which are getting here by after creating the circle so I am going to remove these internal lines and this circle also so that only we can see that section what we created confirm it and develop this one so for us we got a reference body which acts as a supporting for the mechanism like this so anyway this one is not important but we are creating a reference for me once it is done go back to assembly right click and reactivate now I am going to save this part 5 file save as Once the bodies are saved, so I am going to create a new assembly by selecting one by one. New assembly, open, new one. So I am going to select OK to confirm. Now I am going to import parts one by one. First, I am going to import the part number five, which is so. I want to create the mechanism, so that's why I am going to import the parts one by one. First, I am going to import part number five, open. So I want to fix it. That's why I'm going to choose automatic to fixed confirm. Now it is complete body is going to fix. Now I'm going to import the crank, connecting rod, and piston and piston pin. First I'm going to create import crank. I'm going to choose a crank body. Open. So I want to rotate this one. In order to rotate, I need to use a constraint user defined in axis to axis. And second, I'm going to choose the placement translation at the face of the crank and choose the face of the supporting body. One done. Now let's import piston. The piston is saved as part three here open I want to slide up and down that's why the user, user defined I'm going to use slider 
cylindrical phase to cylindrical phase. Mm -hmm. Now you can see it is up and down is going to move. And in second condition, I can choose this one and this one are parallel. You can use a rotation condition, but I'm not going to choose. But you should not rotate like this. That's why I'm going to choose the face of this piston and select the face of this one so that it can be go all up and down. Once it is done, I'll form it. In the next, I'm going to import piston pin assembly. Choose a piston pin that is part four. Open. Now, in default, I'm going to select the axis of this one and axis of this one so that both can be coincide here. Choose coincide. Now, it should not go forward and backward. That's why. Select the face of the pin. Then choose the face of the piston. Here I'm going to choose coincide so that both can be coincide to each other. Confirm it. The final part I'm going to import connecting rod. That's why I'm going to select part two. Now I'm going to choose axis of this one to axis of this one. But here I'm going to choose cylindrical cylindrical this face to this basis one and this pin is moving up forward and backward that's why i'm going to choose this face sorry they are already there this face so we have one done and the rotation is there is coming so that's why i'm going to select rotation constraint again select this axis system this axis system and this axis system Transition means this space and this space should be coincide between 18 distance. Okay, and uh, with no set, here I'm going to select no set. In the no set, I'm going to choose the cylindrical face of this one and the cylindrical face of this one. And still rotating like this, should not rotate like that. So that's why. The translation this face will coincide to this face. Once it is done, confirm it. Now that goes to application mechanism. So in order to rotate this part, I'm going to use servo motor. In the servo motor, I need to use pin this pin. And the pin I'm going to choose profile and you can choose position, velocity, or acceleration. I'm going to use the velocity here and how much velocity you want to provide. I want to provide the velocity of one. Click OK. Mechanism. How many seconds you want to do? 360 seconds. How many frames you want to do? 100. Okay. Then can see the piston is going uh, mechanism going to come slightly first I'm going to cancel it let me zoom in the fixed position mechanism here I'm going to decrease the size here number of seconds and number of frames and run. Can decrease the frames here so that you can see the faster result. Run. So I want to do the simulation for some 3600 seconds. Just run calibration so that we can see the level load. So 
I'm going to return the component file so that we can see clearly. Return like this. We can run it. So here I'm going to choose speed and here I'm not going to change anything. Just run it so that we can see maximum. Click OK to confirm so that we can see mechanism is done. So I'm going to cancel, close it so that we can save it. Like this, we can do assembly and mechanism. Now let's do some design and drafting of this particular model. So it is a simple model so that we can understand easily and possibly. And uh, now I'm going to create this model in part design. Later I'm going to design this one. Okay. Now I'm going to select one of the option called as extrude. Select one of the plane. Let's create a rectangle. Later, I'm going to create some circle sums. One. I'm going to create equal distance. We can see that one. Two, three, and four. So in between there's a fifth one circle also there. I'm going to create a circle here. Bigger. Let's provide dimensions for it. So on the figure, we can see distance from this circle center to this circle center is given 9 point, sir, 91 point. So that's why I select this point, select this point, or seal button. So that we can specify distance. And also the distance from this point to this point also given that is 40. Now the distance from this one to the center of the entire body or uh, center circle is given as 91.2 by 2 that is half of the distance again this one also given 20 20 now the distance from this circle center to here is equal to the distance from this circle center to the end of the body is also given 40 so that's why I'm going to select this one and this one also button that is 14 select distance from here to here that is given also 40 the size also given that is 16 this is from the center of the circle to side and this is from the center of the circle to this side is 60. Now we got the model. Let's extrude this model. And meanwhile, I have to specify the diameter of these holes. This is given as 12.5. And this one is given as 22 point. 22 point. Let's develop this one. So I'm going to specify a thickness of 15 and confirm it. Now we have total body here. Let's save this file. File. Save as a copy. So here I'm going to type file that is plate. Okay, to save. Once it is saved, go to file again. Select new. This time I'm going to select drawing. Click OK. After selecting drawing, we need to choose a empty sheet and size of the sheet. Click OK to confirm so that we can see a sheet like this, white sheet like this. Okay, let's import the model here. That's right. I'm going to select drawing so that we can add the body to the drawing. Choose the position where or choose the folder where you're using the file. Okay. Complete the process by using done. Go to the view, select default view. Okay, choose a place here. I want to place here. That's why I want to select here. Once it is done, go to top, apply so that we can see top view. Now, go to the scale, increase the custom scale to one so that we can see bigger model. So solid is solid. Go to the view display, change the environment to white frame mode so that we can see solid here. So we can so that we can see white frame. Cancel to confirm so that we can see only white frame model. I'm going to hidden the plane here, right click, hidden the solid click, okay, right click, hidden, right click, hidden, and right click, and hidden also. Once it is done, I will click on the scale so that we can place the, this particular text here. Now I need to give protection of this particular body, protection, choose the model and choose the type And it is coming in solid, I will click on that one. View display, choose no hidden. Apply so that we can see the particular view. Once it is done, I need to specify the dimensions. Go to annotations, select the model, click on show model annotations so that we can see all the dimensions here. Select all the dimensions, apply to confirm the dimension positions. I'm going to pull this one downward direction. Like this, or you can put an up or down, depend upon your choice. Now, install getting dimension here. You can see this 12.5 is coming here. I don't want to see here. Select it and delete. Here we are getting one more extra dimension. This is not required. Double click. Or you can simply select and delete. Here right side dimension is scale. So I want to make sure that it should be left side. You can drag to left side. 
So yeah, left side dimension is there. I want to make sure that it should be right side. Just click off to whatever you done. Once it is done, let's select dimension to specify manual. Choose the circle and place somewhere on the screen. To confirm it, mouse wheel button to select it so that it can be confirmed. Then we can see list, select diameter. Close. Let's edit the dimensions here. Here, we have these dimensions are basic dimensions, so it should be fine. So that's why I'm going to double click on the dimension. Then we can see some options like this. Double click, sorry, we can see some options like this. So in the box, this press I, sorry, this play, basic. Click OK to confirm so that you can see the dimension of the box. So into that one, I'm going to double click here on the ladder. Basic, click OK. So this one should also come. There is already 16 also basic is there. You can see on the top. So it is extra dimension, you can put this right and delete. Now this one also basic. This one also basic. And this one also basic. Yes. So once the dimensions are specified, now I need to provide a plus or minus our tolerance here. To provide the tolerance, for that one. To provide the tolerance, I'm going click on the number. In text bar, so in its property, sorry, the display, we can see at the right dimension, make sure that you have to assign a symbol, text symbol, choose plus or minus, add the value. So the dimension is this 12.5 plus or minus 3. So here I'm going to write plus or minus 0.3. And before we have 4, 4, and into. Close. Okay, so that we can see same text here. This text going to come here. Similarly, we have this also. Again, double click on this dimension. Sorry, double click on this line. Display. So here we have plus or minus symbol and 0.1. Close and form. We have this one. Now I need to create three items and this geometry tolerance here. So first to create the items, make sure that there is this option called as model items. Right? Click. And here we have to choose a surface. First, I'm going to provide a text here that's a symbol. On surface, choose the surface edge, this one. Click on the box so that we can see assign A. Okay. Similarly, I have to specify for this one also B. Select specify name. Text here on the surface. Select this one. Okay, you can see B here. Yeah. Now to provide again, it will provide again. We select this one again. Symbol is B. Here it is. Order line. The name is already existing the same because we already previously done. Instead of that one, I'm going to provide B1. B1. On the surface, I'm going to select here. You can see B1 here. Okay. Similarly, we have to select C also. C. On the surface, this line. And click OK. You can see C here, the small here. Once it is done, now I have to provide tolerance for this A, B, C, A, this one, for 2, 1, 5, or plus or minus 3. So, I'm going choose a model as display. And instead of selecting edge, I'm going to select the surface. Make sure that you can choose any case of the surface. The dimension plays G tolerance, choose the dimension this one. Then we can see this box with position. So, first symbol is called position. Later, we have diameter, symbol, diameter symbol. Then go to value. So, here we have 0 0.4. At the maximum value, and here also we get M. So, in material condition MMC, you can choose and rate of A, rate of B, and rate of C is there. Rate of reference primary is A, secondary is B, and rate of B doesn't uh, specify. I think so. I'm cancelling so that I can specify C later. We come. C is not accepted here. On the surface, I'm going to select the surface. Choose this is C1. C1. Click the box. Click OK to confirm. Let's put again. So, I'm going to tolerance. Model surface entry dimension tolerance and data mix A and secondary is B, data is C, total value that is 0 0.4. We have a symbol of diameter, total value we have a symbol of M so that we can see that value. Now it is done, confirm it so that we can see that geometric tolerance here. Now we have datum B for this one. Go to datum again, model datum. I am going to specify text D. Instead of selecting surface, I'm sorry, here I'm going to select surface. Later, I'm going to select A symbol. So, in the dimension is coming, pick the dimension of this one. You can see D. Click OK. Go to target geometric tolerance. Model again. Surface again. Surface again. Geometric tolerance again. I'm going to select this geometry so that you can see text here. Once it is done, datum. So, it is A and followed by D. In the D, and A, we have two reference. A doesn't have any symbol here, but in the second uh, data, we have maximum again, MNC. Followed by total value, it is 0 0.2 is given. 
and M. Symbol is diameter. We already have the symbol. Click OK to confirm so that we can see a specific diameter. So like this, we can provide diameter and total answers here.